World Radio Day means a lot for me. Because before I became a print journalist, I was actually a radio journalist. And I worked for the BBC for many years. And I could remember, and I still remember, how effective radio is as a means of reaching uh, people in a country. It's a, a vital tool for communication between people, between the authorities and the subjects, the people of the country. Uh, radio reaches far and wide. And of course, South Sudan is a very big country um, uh, with a lot of uh, facilities missing. So if you, let's say, use a newspaper to reach a message, you will not get very far. Or if you reach a TV, you will not reach it very far. But if you use a radio, you will be able to reach far and wide. And that is why it is extremely important as a tool of communication in a country like South Sudan. Radio is useful as a tool for reconciliation and forgiveness. You can, we can reconcile and forgive each other and be able to heal the wounds that the war has brought on us. Um, a lot of the South Sudanese people, we, we have done a lot of bad things to each other. So we can, uh, we can communicate uh, confess and reconcile. So if you, if we can reconcile, we can heal the rift um, amongst us and develop, a, you know, a prosperous uh, future. Indeed, we should use it carefully. There are certain messages that should be avoided, like hate speech or incitement. You know, there are people who would like to incite others to violence and say this tribe is not good, this tribe is that, we should attack them, we should what? These are the kind of messages that should be avoided in the radio stations. Incitement and hate speech.